Hey, yeah, this ain't a uh, how to do video. Definitely, uh, this is this is amateur Aaron here at its best. <laughs> we brought a bathroom guy in to see what a quote would be, and he wanted five thousand dollars just to do the tub. I'm gonna do this whole thing for uh, under three thousand. So it's the everything. I'm gonna gut the whole bathroom. I'm doing it now. I'm trying to rip off this. Uh, this concrete board, which came right off. Uh, surprisingly, there was no mold behind it, which was cool. And um, here I'm trying to use this this tool. Everybody seems to be able to put a screwdriver in, just turns it right out. Well, it didn't work for me. Um, I just went under the house and just cut the plumbing and um, just took it all out, one big apparatus. Here I'm just taking a angle grinder and uh, just chop it in half. It's a cast iron tub. It's about 300 pounds, so it's more manageable. Um, I did have some floor damage underneath the tub, uh, so I, yeah, I know that's OSB. That's one thing I probably didn't didn't do right. <laughs> um, as long as it doesn't get wet, OSB is actually stronger. So um, I put all the plumbing on the tub first. That's a, I, I'd highly suggest that. Uh, you know, got everything secured, everything down. I put some plastic up, vapor bear, because that's an outside wall. Got some insulation. And this here is mortar. Because it's a fiberglass tub and it's light, you want to put mortar down so it makes it feel solid. I had to put shims on one side. Everything else lined up. Everything was level. The walls were level. I got real lucky on that. Could have been a lot worse in that aspect. Okay, here I'm uh, doing PEX. It was uh, transitioning from copper to PEX. I connected the plumbing. The PEX is really cool. I got some copper little fittings. You slide the little fittings on. Uh, you go over the over the PEX. The PEX just screwed right onto the copper. Put your little tool on there. Make sure it's up a little bit, not much. It's it's pretty easy, and it snip right on. I've done this a lot. I've never had it leak one time. I swear by copper. So, tub's in place, plumbing's done, got all that. Um, you know, got the new shower head thing. Everything's copper or PEX. Got it screwed in. Uh, don't, don't tighten it too much, you'll crack it. I seen somebody suggest that on YouTube. As said, I had shims on one side. So I'm putting the green drywall up instead of concrete board, just because I'm gonna use this waterproofing membrane. Um, it's just easier to work with and it's cheaper, you know. And uh, with the waterproof membrane, it's probably even more waterproof. Concrete board is not waterproof, it's water resistant. Okay, here I'm cutting open the opening in the drywall with my handy dandy Leatherman Wave. Um, that's for the shampoo and stuff. Here's the waterproof and stuff I was talking about. Some good stuff right here. Okay, so that's one layer. Um, uh, gonna let it sit overnight and this morning I'm putting on a, another layer so these bathrooms you know they there's like a process involved you know you, you do one thing you gotta wait you know, one process always waits on the other and that's why I kind of think uh, you know when I remodeled my kitchen it went a lot faster I literally tore the old one out put the new one in, in three days and did drywall and everything um, it's just less processes involved so here's another process, putting on this vertical hold mortar. It's the self-mix kind. I guess the kind that comes in a bucket already pre-made isn't good for bigger tiles on walls. It's okay on the little tiles. Uh, here I'm putting it, the lines on a different direction as the wall. I mean, I'm no tile expert, but it seems to work for me. You know, um, everybody that I talk to, I tell them I was doing this bathroom like my neighbors and my neighbors are like handy guys and they know they know more than I do. They're like, oh, you're gonna tile it? Ooh, tile. You know, like they're intimidated by tile or, you know, I don't, I don't get it. Uh, dogs are getting sick of me being in here and I am too, I'm trying to finish this up. I did this tile work in one day, but honestly, I think the tile is, you know, easier than a lot of the other processes involved in a bathroom. Putting the tub in was kind of hard, trying to fit everything in, but you know, it's just mostly processes and time. So I didn't really have another bathroom. This tile lined right up on a hole. 
So luckily I had this, this drill bit here. And uh, man, it would work beautiful. And this was on the glass tile too, so I was worried. It's right where the shower head comes out. I was like, oh no. But it drilled a hole right through it like it was nothing. Um, and I noticed I had some chipping with this. Uh, it's probably my diamond blade on my tile saw. It's real old. But I put that tape on there. It kind of prevents the chipping, you know. So here's day one with the tile work. I got all I got tape on. I don't know if I needed to do all that, but the hole came out good. Just just because it's on a wall, I didn't want to just rely. I wanted to help it, the mortar a little bit, but I guess it's like the strongest mortar. I don't know. I put those little rocks. My wife has designed this whole kitchen, and or not kitchen, but bathroom, and she's done a good job. She designed the kitchen too, <laughs> but she did all the color schemes and all that, and I don't know. So I tore all that stuff off, cleaned it up, uh, put the little fittings on, grouted it. Now I'm on to my weakness. To me, this is the hardest part of the whole job, is freaking drywall. I suck at drywall. It's hard to get uh, imperfections out of the drywall. Here I put a uh, three quarter inch thick plywood down, a copper flange for my my toilet and uh, the drywall all those the mud's getting big <laughs> so now I'm gonna install the cabinet before I do the floor and you do the floor around the cabinetry um, and it looks good and I hung that and now I got some extra light I couldn't see I waterproofed a little bit where people step out of the tub it's probably unnecessary and a little bit under the toilet I figure you know why not um, these are really big tiles so you know, the floor, I wanted it flat, so, you know, tile didn't break when you walk on it. Got the toilet back on, which is nice to have two toilets again. Faucet's running. Uh, water's all hooked up, got everything caulked. We can actually take showers now. You know, I just gotta put, uh, finish up the, the finishing touches now. You know, got some caulk down there, caulked around the tub, caulked at the bottom of the tub. I don't know if I went a little caulk crazy, but you know, it, it, it looks good and it, and it seals it. Here comes the primer um, sealer or whatever you put on the, the virgin drywall. So it's all new drywall. So this is the best me and my wife can do. It saved us a lot of money and it's a heck of a lot better than what we had before. So uh, finishing touches coming up.